Uh, well, if ever a game was going to be nil-nil, it was going to be that one. Uh, it wasn't box office. Uh, definitely not worth 15 quid. Um, but I thought there were positives to take. Uh, Sam Johnson had an excellent game. Um, I think Bilic got the centre-back pairing right. Um, Ivanovic and Hagazi played very, very well. Uh, they dealt with Burnley's Route 1 threat really well. Uh, so you can see why Bilic picked them. Well, Albion nil, Burnley nil. Um, despite the result where a lot of Baggies fans will probably have been looking at this game, um, thinking it should be our first three points of the season. Um, there was a lot of encouraging signs there, I thought, especially the first half. I thought we uh, we played a lot better than we have done in recent games. You know, I think that we I think that we moved the ball well up until the final third, um, where the tempo just seemed to be lacking a little bit today. I think if we start moving the ball quicker, we'll start we'll start seeing the rewards from that. And uh, yeah, Kyle and Grant wasn't going to be easy for him to doubt top by himself. Having not played any football this season, but I thought that uh, I thought that he he looked lively, about as lively as you, you could have expected from him today, given his obvious lack of match fitness. Um, I think with a few more minutes in his legs, he probably holds his run better in the first half and scores to put the Albion one nil up. So, so that was West Brom nil, Burnley nil in the game where uh, every single Sky Sports pundit is going to gleefully remind us was always going to be the first nil-nil of this Premier League season and it didn't disappoint, did it? Um, I feel as though to, to break through that Burnley side where they have the two banks of four and the two centre forwards dropping in when they don't have the ball, you really do have to have some serious quality in your team to break through. I mean, last season they basically took all their points against teams in the bottom eight or nine in the league and it's evident to see why um, when you don't have quality to break through their solid, solid defence. I felt uh, with the ball, we missed Sawyers. Uh, we really lacked rhythm throughout the game, but then when Sawyers did come on, he struggled with the pace anyway, so I don't know. Um, I feel like Carlin Grant had a, an okay debut, but he looked a bit leggy, understandably. Uh, in the second half, uh, should have stayed onside and scored his goal. Yeah, um, second half we, we did let our foot off the gas a bit. Burnley came into the game and Sam Johnson made a couple of excellent saves to, to keep us in it. But, you know, you do worry that we, we're yet to yet to register a win. Um, but I think I think we're, we're getting there. We're getting, certainly getting closer based on today's performance. I actually thought we kind of started quite brightly. We... So looked to kind of spray it about. I think Gallagher looked lively. So, so did Pereira and Diangana. Grant had a really good opportunity, but it was just half a yard offside or whatever. We can't really complain about that. But I think Bernie grew into it, and they do what they do, and um, they kind of suck the life out of fixtures, much like we did under Pulis, and it works for them, or at least up until this season, it does. Uh, but yeah, it's a point. Uh, you'd like three against Burnley, of course, at home, but. It's a point. We're out of the relegation zone and onwards. Brighton won't be an easy game, and as good as they've looked this season, you know there is probably going to be an opportunity for us there to get some more points on the board. So um, hopefully we turn up next week at the Amex and have a good go, and hopefully register register a few more points. So yeah, we'll see. Um, thought the midfield was better tonight. I think Conor Gallagher's a really astute addition on loan. So fingers crossed that we uh, get our first win soon. Um, moving forwards, I don't really know if um, Ivanovic and uh, Higazi are going to start together every week. I think that was clearly a, a ploy to stop Burnley's two up front with their aerial threat. I actually think Ivanovic looked really good, more so off the ball, weirdly, than on the ball, because he seems to just command everything. He seems to have an instruction for every single loose ball. He seems to try and calm things down a lot. Um, so looking forwards, I think it's going to have to be a giant uh, Ivanovic that start at the heart of defence. I just think we need to move the ball quicker and be a bit more positive and um, look to try and fizz balls in to centre forwards and get those runs popping off in behind like we did last season. But, you know, like I've said earlier, in this league, it's going to be really, really tough to do that. Um, so obviously that was a boring nil-nil, but we move on. Boing, boing.